mind about doing this. Since I'm not really doing a lot, I'm trying to figure out how to make all this work and whether or not I should just keep using my phone or maybe go to a little handheld action cam that's something that'll
going back and forth. This time, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to sit out in the truck. I'm going to watch my gauge. And if y'all go over whatever, I'll let you know. That way, you don't put any more on. The nose heavy. Now, make it any more heavy stuff on the nose. Well, third time's a charm. Pull out of the dock. It's set between 50 and 70 PSI, which is right where I want it. So, I'm like, okay, cool. So, I pull out. And I head home. Get home last night, like midnight. Old lady was already in bed, so I was like, because I called her head and said, babe, go ahead and lay down. I want you to have to wait up and not get any sleep. I'll give you a call when I'm parked. You can come get me and take me home. That goes on. Well, when I parked at midnight, that means my reset time is now 10. Trailer is still 
at 35 and some change. So I'm like, I've got to get it's about 1,500 pounds shifted, and I can't move my tandems anymore. I can't do any. I can't do anything to shift the load, to shift the weight. So all, through all this, I called my dispatch. Before all this, I had called the dispatch, and they're like, okay, try doing that. But in the meantime, we'll see about where we can send you to get you to, sh to get reloaded or resituated. And I did all that, scaled it. I'm like, it's not going to work. After I called back to the dispatch, I'm like, hey, I've done everything I could. I still got like about 15... 1,500 pounds I need to shift. And they're like, alright, sit tight, we'll see what we can do, we'll give you a call. I'd say about 35, 40 minutes goes by and my dispatcher sends me a text and says, hey, go to Springfield. Or you used to go to Crossdock. I'm like, okay. So, I get to go, go back to Springfield. I used to go there to Crossdock when I was running north and back and north and back instead of going all the way to Texas because now I go all the way to Texas where before I would run about half the load and take it to a cross stock or the cross stock would take it off me and put it on another truck and that truck would go to Texas. So yeah, that's how my week started. Yeah, this week is FUBAR! FUBAR is possible. Come on, people. With blinkers for a reason. That Mustang could have waited, that this dude in the red could have waited and let me go by, but no, he had to zip by me. Show some courtesy, people. Please show some courtesy. Us 18 wheeler drivers are what keeping this world rolling. Without us, you don't get your Cheerios. Without us, you don't get your iPods. Without us, you don't get your car parts. So be a little more courteous, people. <coughs> Stay off your phones. Pay attention to the road. If there's a truck going slow ahead of you, there's usually a reason we're going slow. And that gap between a front a truck and traffic is not there for you to jump in. That is for us to slow down. Because we need that distance. 80,000 pounds takes about a football field to slow down from 60 miles an hour. Most interstates are 70. So, so go, might as well go ahead and say two football fields. So please, people. Don't jump in front of semis. Don't try to pass them to get to your exit. Just slow down and you'll get to your exit just as fast without endangering your life.
Oh, the joys of trucking. So I told y'all how I was overweight on my drive axles last night, and then how this morning after they reworked it, it was my trailers. Well, now my drive axles are overweight after reweighing. I'm here at a, a place my company found to move some stuff around. And they situated it once. It's too heavy in the front again. And now they're trying to work on getting the rear back to scale. And if you're wondering how I know it's off, I, I have a... That little gauge right there is a PSI gauge for my drives. And depending on the PSI is depending on the weight. And I know if it's over a certain PSI, I have so much weight on it. Well, when that gauge is pegged all the way to the right, yeah, that's 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 way too much. So, yeah, this this week is gonna be foobar. I might look out and get paid some something for all this crap because it's a hassle and I couldn't do anything about it. I had tried to get it shifted. Turns out it was the warehouse that I was picking up or the factory put it on wrong. Oh boy. So yeah. Fun. Lots and lots of fun. I should have been about Texarkana right about now because it is... Get your watch. It's 5 o'clock. I'm usually at Texarkana about this time, if not another hour. I am in Springfield, Tennessee. And I've got about seven hours on my clock. So, I'm going to do what I can tonight. Don't see myself driving all the way through. Don't see me getting to San Antonio tomorrow. Hopefully this doesn't screw up my week for route just before Christmas. Because I was hoping three weeks of this with the extra stop with the extra miles that'd be some bank before Christmas considering I'm taking the week of Christmas off but I don't have any paid vacation just my route shuts down for that week and I'm gonna take the time I probably could get some loads but I'm gonna go on a little family vacation or vacation to see my girlfriend's family yeah Tennessee to Missouri that's a fine drive and I'm probably gonna do most of that but yeah I'm gonna cut this out now I'll get back to you